for example, that you have not responded to freedom of information law requests that he has foiled, we call them, requests to see who you've been meeting with. This is about like pension fund placement agents. In April, Andrew Cuomo said that there was in fact one meeting on your watch that he had looked at in connection with his investigation. And of course, Andrew Cuomo has not endorsed you, which we will get to later. But can you say for certain that that one meeting was the only thing that Andrew Cuomo is looking at? Well, I, uh, I can't comment on, on the investigation. As you well know, the investigation started before I became controller, and the investigation has continued. We uh, are, have not stopped our effort to reform the office, not waiting for the investigation to be concluded. Uh, this involves the pension fund. This is very important to a million New Yorkers who are a part of that system and their families. That's why we've instituted a host of reforms that I've talked about on, on this show in the past, uh, banning transactions with placement agents, uh, uh, more transparency and openness as far as reporting, uh, being even ahead of the SEC on, on pay-to-play, uh, banning uh, that as far as part of our policy. So we've taken this agenda of reform very, very seriously. Seriously. Uh, the Attorney General is doing his job, we're doing our job, and uh, I'm confident that, uh, that the pension fund is managed in the appropriate way, and I'm, I'm very proud of the track record that I've put in place with my team to reform the system in a positive way. But why not actually release, then, the meetings? I mean, why not say, okay, publicly, well, here's every single but, person but I have requests, met with. requests, we always respond to. There was just an article that uh, uh, your colleague Ken Lovett had uh, in, in the paper this past week. Well, that was a subsequent to a request, request for schedule. Request by your opponent. If, if, if they make an appropriate request for schedule, as we do with anybody that does a FOIL, that, that information is available. Well, he says that he actually did. Well, he says a lot of things that aren't, aren't true, uh, and that happens to be one of them as well. So, you're, wait, just to reiterate now, you are saying that he did not request that information through a FOIL request from I, your office? I, I am not the FOIL officer for the agency. My understanding is uh, the request was a hugely broad request, one that was not reasonable uh, in terms of... Uh, of identifying what was being looked for. When my schedule has been foiled by, by, usually by reporters are the ones that foil it, right. we have given that information. Well, he says actually then that it's a lack of transparency, that your office is, suffers from a lack of transparency because why not, for we, example, post every single meeting that you have on the web, just for argument's sake? It, it perhaps it's something to consider. Uh, the information is available. If it's requested appropriately, that information is available. That's, that's the way we operate. That's the way we're supposed to operate under the Freedom of Information Law. In terms